Oh, hi, my name is Booty Cat, and you are watching the channel Ready Player One Gaming. And I would feel so honored and so privileged I got a raw chicken. That chicken died. How did that chicken die? Hello all you wonderful people, I am the Booty Cap for Ready Player One Gaming and welcome to Blightfall. Blightfall is a Minecraft mod pack that is now on the official technical launcher. It is uh, it's 2.1 version right now and I decided it is time for me to play it and I don't know how long we'll do it. I don't know how long of a series it will be. It all depends on you guys and how long you want to see me do it. Whoa, look at that behind me. So, uh, I have not done anything yet in this world. I haven't even really seen any gameplay. All I've done is read things about it and read the mods that are involved in this. There are 62 mods involved in this. And so far, it seems like it's just a really intense uh, adventure and quest uh, mod pack. So, let's get started. I was spawned right here in this uh, facility or maybe a spaceship. I'm not sure because I know that outer space is involved. Wow, look at the build though, eh? I mean, this is pretty sweet. What is in there? A crop or, or drop computer. Well, let's see what this dude's all about. Uh, let's Maribel hack it. Right click to talk. Just step into one of these pods to get started. If you're on a team, make sure you use the same drop, excuse me, uh, the same drop pod as the rest of your team, okay. And then I can say, which one? Thanks. Bye. Any advice? This book. Uh, any advice? Uh, well, most people don't bother to ask. Here are a few tips. Hunger's going to be a problem. Try not to run a jump. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Anything else? Not a whole lot. If you manage to get food controlled, blah, 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 and all that stuff, right? Okay. Cool. <laughs> Uh, so yes, it did come with a quest book, two of them, um, quest book 5019, hardcore questing mode, okay. Oh, okay, that's just, that's just the mod, hardcore questing mode, hello. Uh, so, I don't know why I have two. Uh, oh, wow, Blightfall. It looked like a perfect, what's this, really tiny, eh? I'm gonna zoom, I, I, I'm gonna zoom it in for you guys once I edit it, but it looked like a perfect planet, smack in the... Goldilocks zone, full of minerals and even complete with pre-existing plant and animal life. Hi, this is Boodcat, and here's a disclaimer for you. This mod pack is an RPG. That means that there's going to be lots of reading involved. I will do my best to fast forward certain things and try to keep it as entertaining as possible while still respecting the integrity of the story. Here we go! When the scientists at Space Command saw the scan results, their jaws hit the floor. Plans to make a colony ship started that day. Four years later, the starship Jaden set out on her maiden journey. But now that we've arrived, it's clear that things are not as they first appeared. A seething, teeming purple biomass covers the surface, spewing forth malign alien entities that cruelly murdered the initial scouts. We aren't sure if the scans were wrong, if something happened in the few years it took to warp here, or if Space Command was just lying to... to... Oh, here we go. Wow, this is pretty long, eh? Wow. Uh, lying to, I don't even know where I was at. Um, uh, lying to us, okay, but this is not the paradise we were promised. Uh, we're leaving the rest of the colonists in the, in the, in the cryo, cry, cryo status for now and sending you down to the surface as our last attempt before giving up and taking the jaded and her colonists back to the home world. We've got little to offer. Hold on, let me scroll down. We've got little to offer you besides a glass bio shelter to keep the aliens out. Resources are limited and we're only willing to invest so much more into, wait, what? And we're only willing to invest so much more into what we what what will probably be a failed expedition. But if you're resourceful and lucky, perhaps we can find a way to make this colony work after all. Wow, that was very long, but it was a good story. But it was so tiny, I could barely read the letters. The C's look like O's and blah blah blah. All right, click here to start. All right, so this is just this is just like Core Zero in the fact that you have a quest book and. There's, you know, so many quests, 90 quests in total, seven unlocked, and seven quests available for completion. Um, okay, here's our, oh, we have reputation too. So our mission outlook is concerned, okay. Uh, and then the Dark One's impression. Hmm. The Dark One's impression is curious. So our first quest is the instructor. Hello, my name is Dr. Fairchild, and I have been instructed to, well, instruct you. My task will teach you the basics of how to survive on this hostile alien planet. 
They should be easy to complete and give you a good foundation for for further exploration. <laughs> okay, so let's open it up. All right, what is this thing? Uh, this device, in addition to uh, letting you communicate with the leadership of the Jaded, can also transmit items to us by breaking them down into data and beaming them up to us. You can also receive items from us in the same way. It's a technology based on ME networks, but more limited, trying to send blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm trying not to bore you guys by reading so much, but this is a quest. This is like an RPG, so there is going to be a lot of reading involved. So please don't click off. I'm going to try to make it as entertaining as possible. What is what is our mission? We have, to, we have to deliver the following items. One dirt. Okay, so we have to find one dirt. Well, before we do that, let's go and take a look. Does this open? Oh, it does. Nice. Okay. Wow, look at this thing. Uh, colored glowstone, sign frequency. Colonial drop computer, right click to talk. Greetings, Scout. I am the Colonial Drop Manager. When the planet is ready to be colonized, talk to me. And I will drop the colony pod onto the planet surface. You will probably not need to interact with me for quite some time. Uh, okay. Um, is this another drop computer? Oh, this is a transporter beacon. Uh, travel. Okay. Oh, warning. Uh, breaking or placing blocks aboard the Jaded is prohibited by executive mandate. Violators will be looked at sternly and accused of cheating. <gasps> my goodness. This is kind of, oh my goodness, look at that. That is fancy technology, sir. Uh, Captain Shiitake. Hello, sir. Wow, you look like a shiitake mushroom, don't you? You're up. Good, we need you. This planet has not been kind to the other scouts. Well, what happened? Oh, some went insane and turned on their companions. Some were hunted by the swarms of alien insects. Some were brutally murdered by, well, uh, alien chickens, for lack of a better description. At any rate, you are our final hope. Oh my goodness, well, what, what, what do I do? See that view screen over there, that fancy one you just commented on? The red pulsating parts are filled with a purple alien biomass hostile to the terrestrial life. We need you to find a way to get rid of it. As you clear the, away the alien biomass, come back up here from time to time. We can run another scan whenever you want to see how much progress you've made. Well, how do I rescan? And, and how, how, do I, how do I see my progress? There are two ways to monitor your progress. The best way is to look at the gauges on the walls of this room. Each of the 24 gauges represents a different area of the continent. As you clean up the area, the gauges will light up. Also, if you right-click on the side of the scanner, you can open up a window that will let you print badges that represent your progress. Each zone has three badges. A bronze, a silver, and a gold. You can print badges to show off your progress. They fit great in item frames or look great when hung up on drying racks. As you clean more of the planetary surface, more badges become available to print. In fact, you can get your first participation badge by just running a scan. Well, how do I run a scan? Right-click the top of the scanner block to rescan. The scanner block is the one set in to the table in the middle. The scan might take a few minutes. Feel free to wander off while you wait. Um, okay, thanks. Bye now. <laughs> Wow, that was, uh, I'm going to jump on your table, sir. I hope you don't mind. I think, do I hit this? Does that do anything? A scan is already in progress. Okay. So once this is, it was, what, let's wander around like he said. Wow, look at all these gauges, man. That's crazy. So it's kind of like Terraria in, in the fact that, you know, how like the, if you play Terraria, the Dryad will let you know, okay, it's still 5% corrupt or whatever. It's kind of like that, at least to me. Deck A. Let's see what's down deck A. Oh, wow, nothing. Oh, it's an elevator. Um, oh, and there's the button. Whoa, 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 whoa. My goodness. That was fancy. Well, well, well I don't want to get lost now. Um, 
Okay, well, what do we got? Wow, look at this, guys. This is intense. I like the fact that I have a place to go to, and I don't have to worry about building a house. Instead, I can just jump into having some fun. Um, deck a rear. I'm just kind of wandering at this point. I don't really have any... I don't even know how to get off of this ship. Hall of Fame. The Hall of... Okay, maybe I do care about the Hall of Fame. Let's see. <gasps> Holy crap. Um, it is awfully dark in here. Right click on statue's feet to learn more about the contribution. Um, okay, so this is, oh, wow, guys. Um, I mean, you know what? I might actually make a whole nother episode. These are all the people that are involved, I think. Right? A cooking tester, builder. Yeah, these are all the people that were involved in all their skins. So... They deserve the credit. So on a separate video, it's just I I don't even have any torches to light it up in there. In a separate video, I'm gonna show you guys everyone. That way they can get all the attention that they deserve, all the respect that they deserve as well. So what is this thing? It looks like some giant supercomputer, doesn't it? It's a vehicle bay. Whoo! How do I open this up? Vehicle bay open. Vehicle bay. Open sesame. Nothing. There's no button or door. I was wondering if it's like a secret hatch or something. Nope. So, there's our first scan. Okay, so, yeah. It looks like nothing has been done, obviously. So, how do I print out my badge again? Uh, sir, I forgot. Hmm. Yeah. No badge printed out for me. Just saying. Just saying. Alright, so I'm going to go back in here and maybe... Maybe... Whoa. Uh, oh yeah, these are all the drop pads. So this is what uh, whatever Maribel Hackett was talking about. So if, if you're playing with your buddies or if you started a server on this, then you want to you you make sure that all your buddies and you go into the same drop pad. Wow, that's pretty sweet. Man, I really wish I had some armor or something. All right, what 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 drop pad am I going down? Uh, Eppleson, Omega. Let's go down Omega because I like Omega Lucky Blocks. Okay. Uh, whoa. Hello. Take me. Um. You will be assigned to Team Omega. This last remaining biodome is located under the ocean. This means you will have less room near the base. Nope, 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 nope. I do not want to go to the bottom of the ocean. No, thank you. No, thank you. Not right now. I don't have any problem on the surface. What is this? Delta. All right, fine. Whatever. Delta's fine. Let's go to Delta. You will be assigned to Team Delta. You will be dropped in a biome that is mostly comprised of clay. Nearby alien metals will not help you progress. You will be dropped near a bay. The access to the sea will make exploration easier and safer. Do you wish to proceed? Uh, let me rethink this. I want to go where there's going to be some wood and maybe some... I need dirt too because of that, my um, my first mission. Gamma. Let's go to Gamma. Or maybe I should be going to Alpha because it's A and A is the first. I don't know, guys. Whoa, lag. Serious lag right now. Okay, let's drop down Alpha, and let's see what's going on. Uh, okay, so this is the biome that's closest uh, to the center of the continent. It's central location, uh, explosion much easier. Yep, let's go here. Um, yes. Very well. Initiating transportation sequence. Here goes. Whoa, we got some beds, too. Hey, I'm in a dome. Sweet. I like it already, and there's some books for me to read. More quest books. In case I didn't have enough for... Oh, man. This is sweet. This is what we needed. And we're going to get our block of dirt right now. All right. In fact, let's complete our quest right now. Manual submit. Claim reward. Do, 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 do. Okay, so now it opens up this. Um... All right, you're going to need to see the requisition officer, Corporal Driscoll. He'll give you items to help you in this mission using the same interface 
uh, you used here. Why don't you, um, why don't you ask for a starter sampling? Right click until you get to the crew, crew menu, and then click on the supplier to enter Driscoll's menu. Uh, ask for a sampling from him, then show it to me, and I'll tell you what to do next. Oh, and I'll get a bunch of bone meal. Sweet. Why can't I just get a sampling from out there? I mean, are the aliens really that dangerous? Can I not break this glass to go out? I don't understand. But I guess that would not be going along with this, hey? Like, um, you know what I mean? So, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Let's go back to, um, I don't know what they mean by this. Okay, uh, right click until you get to the crew menu. The supplier, here we go. Found it. Hey, I'm Corporal Driscoll and I manage the stock and inventory of this operation. If you need any supplies, feel free to ask. Just remember, the more you take, the more concerned the leadership will be about your progress. Okay. So, yeah, let's take this. Claim reward. Sweet. Oh, there's one I'm concerned. Hmm. Don't be concerned. Don't be concerned. I just, uh... So requires, okay, so let's go back here to the instructor. My God, <laughs> manual detect. Okay, so now we opened up our new quest, which is getting wood. Um, as you probably heard, the planet is mostly covered by poisonous, hostile, purple biomass. Uh, we dropped you in one of the few spots that seems safe. I think it has something to do with that silver tree in the center of your <laughs> containment area. Better not chop it down. That could be disastrous. Instead, use the bone meal I gave you to grow the sampling you got from Driscoll and use its wood to start crafting. Ah, okay. Okay. So, man, this is so uh, clever. Let's do it down here where there's more room for it to grow. It's kind of like, um, oh my God, what is that one challenge? The sky challenge. Let's just keep loading it up, load it up, load it up. Let's get a big, big old tree. Maybe not. Hello, sir. Do you want to not get big on me or are you just going to come on now? There we go. There's a good tree. There's a good tree. All right, so we're going to need to chop her down, eh? There we go. All right, just got the achievement getting wood. All right. I mean, look at the map. It's all purple. That's crazy. Crazy talk. Let's open. Actually, I want to kind of see. So that's that's a lot of purple. My goodness. My goodness. All right, so I don't know how much wood I needed in that quest, but I'm just going to take it all. Well, as much as I can possibly get from this. I don't know how much wood this is going to give me. Uh, This might be it. I think that's it. I don't think there's any more. Hey, come here. Okay. Now let's go and do our... Hey, chicken! Hi, buddy! Hi, how'd you get in here? All right, where's our quest book? Here it is. Um, getting wood. Oh, we need to make uh, a crafting table. Okay. Simple enough. Like so. Crafting table. And now we can do and complete this quest. Claim reward. Do, 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 do. Sweet. Our mission outlook is probably looking decent right now, I imagine. So now... We have um, two. Uh, I need no tutorials, okay? And then tutorials, please. So I don't need any tutorials, right? Because I, I, I've been playing Minecraft for well over a year. Actually, I've been playing it for probably close to two years. So I don't need the tutorials. No, thank you. I need no tutorials. Please don't patronize me, you say. 
I'm already an expert tinkerer, you say. Well, all right, if you'll sign this full legal release form <laughs> certifying you are completely familiar with Tinker's Construct tools, we'll give you a pass. Go make um, your own tools. If this scares you, you might want to go back to the tutorials, please, mission. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm fairly, I see, I, now that I know it's Tinker's Construct, I am pretty familiar with Tinker's Construct. So, I think I'm just, I don't know how to make the wooden matak though, that's the thing. But, we'll see. We'll see. Alright, but, um, I don't think we have any more time to do any more missions. So, uh, sadly, this is probably going to be it for this episode. Hey, look, there's like, oh, I thought that was smoke. Oh, it is smoke. Is that smoke? Or, no, that's a giant tree. My goodness. <laughs> if you guys like this video, please hit that like button because that'll let me know that you guys want to see me continue to do this and see me progress in this awesome mod pack. I almost fell down that hole. <laughs> and if you guys are new to this channel and this is the first time you've ever seen this pretty cat face right here, then let me be the first to introduce myself and clarify some things. Hello, hi, my name is Boudicat, and you are watching the channel Ready Player One Gaming. And I would feel so honored and so privileged I got a raw chicken. That chicken died. How did that chicken die? That is very confusing. But I would feel so honored and privileged if you checked out the rest of our content. And maybe, just maybe, if you liked it, you will subscribe and you will be officially supporting one of the coolest channels on YouTube and it has been scientifically proven by Bill Nye himself. But not really, so please don't sue me, Bill Nye. Until next time, guys, I am the Boudicat for Ready Player One Gaming and I will see you all later. Goodbye!